to another episode of Sonora Synapse Series, and here we have Liz. And Liz, Hi. why don't you tell us your age, grade, and when you're involved in at Sonora? Okay, uh, my name is Elizabeth Carroll. I am 17, almost 18. Um, I am a senior at Sonora. Um, and the main thing that I'm involved in at Sonora is the volleyball program. Um, I've done other things while at Sonora. I did agriculture for a while. Um, I was an IPATH tutor um, the summer before COVID. So, um, so yeah, I, I'm not involved in many clubs, but I'm very active around the school. Okay. Um, so we're going to do Fast Five, and Fast Five is where I give you a topic and you say the first thing that comes to your mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the first one is hobby. Volleyball. Okay. Um, movie. The Hobbit. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, animal. Dog. Okay. Food. Pizza. Okay. And song. See, I don't... Mm. <sighs> okay, my current favorite song is... Um... Oh, jeez. It's by Phineas, uh, Billy Eilish's older brother. Um, it's called I Lost a Friend. So. Okay, so... What do you think pineapple and pizza? Because that's like a big debate. Okay, so I'm personally a pineapple on pizza person. Yes! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because, okay, so I grew up in a pizzeria. My dad owned one. Oh, shoot. That's cool. So, yeah, my dad owned one for 16 years, about. Oh. Um, so, or a little longer. I can't remember exactly. But um, he had it until I was 13. So, when like, you were my entire childhood. Oh, oh, huh? shoot. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so my whole childhood I spent there, like, every weekend. So, like, I've tried just about everything. The only thing that I don't agree with on pizza is artichoke hearts and anchovies. I've never tried that, but it sounds disgusting, you know? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're nose for me. I don't want to eat fish. <laughs> Or a slimy vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, that's a no. <laughs> if you had to, okay. like, put anything on a pizza and you have to eat it, what would you put on it? And you could put anything on it. Anything. Anything. Like, like, normal type of thing? Like, what's my ideal pizza? No, 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 like, no, like, I... anything. Like, Anything. <laughs> I don't want to give you ideas and then you say the same thing back. You know what I mean? There you go. <laughs> no, I don't want to like say specifically what. So then, like, okay, okay. Like, like you could put like candy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. I get you. I get you. Yeah. I wouldn't, but I get you. Okay. Um, chips. I don't know something. <laughs> I'm gonna go the expensive route. Oh, okay, okay. First of all. I feel like gold flakes would be really cool. Shiny, you know? Gold flakes? Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. And then, let's see. Truffles. What? Are also expensive. Truffles? Oh, truffles. I heard shuffles. Looks so like you're going to shuffle on pizza or what? <laughs> And Wagyu beef. What the heck is that? The most expensive beef on planet Earth. What it's is it? Just, it? It's a really good, like, marbled effect to it. So if you cook it right, it literally slices like butter. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> Bougie, no, okay. <laughs> Honestly, no, it's mostly, um, it's an Asian type meat. It's really popular over there. I've never heard of it. Is that like a, I don't know, a pizza story? Like something funny, I guess? I don't know. Because you, you grew up in a pizza place, so maybe yeah. you have something to tell us. <laughs> um, I don't know. Okay. So... It's an old family story. My parents make fun of me for it all the time. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to expose myself to you. It's okay, it's okay. 
everyone who watches this is gonna be like, oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, so when I was younger, I go there all the time, and I always wanted to help my dad. When I was like young, young, so I was like probably five, six, maybe. I thought I was doing something, and my grandmother is one of my biggest supporters ever. She just like she's always there. She's always always there <laughs> um she'll do anything for me and she'll like she's like my biggest hype woman Ooh. even when like no one else yeah exactly <laughs> um and so when I was younger I was like dad watch I'm a great cook and he'd give me like little souffle cups and there's like so in a pizzeria there's like a long station with all the the toppings and everything so you can just go down the line and put everything on it yeah, okay. And I had my little stool, and I'd stand up there, because I was too short for it, and I'd get the soup cup, and I'd start throwing stuff into it. I'd put, like, a pepperoni, and then some olives, and then I'd get mustard, and then sauce and cheese, and then <laughs> a tiny little soup cup. And I'd give it to my dad. My <laughs> I wasn't very creative. I called it Muck. <laughs> oh, okay. An attractive title. Yeah. And I I was so proud of myself. I'm like, Dad, look, I did it. Like, do you want to try it? And he'd like fake me out and he'd be like, Oh yeah, um no, 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 it's great. It's fantastic. But I'd go up to my grandma and I'd be like, Grandma, look, I made this for you. The woman would legitimately eat it just to make me happy. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> do do you um, remember if she like enjoyed it? She'd tell me she would. I know she probably didn't. I put way too much mustard in those things for anyone to ever enjoy it. <laughs> oh my god, dude. She, every single time, she'd be like, oh my gosh, Elizabeth, this is great. How do you do it? And I'd be like, I don't know. I'm just that, I'm just all that. You're just a cook, you know? Like, you know, I'm just like, I'm just gonna be the best chef in the world. Culinary <laughs> school, so, yeah. that's where you're going. Do you have a favorite character? It's either, so there are three that I really love. There's Bobo Baggins, who's the main character. He's just adorable, and his sense of humor is fantastic. <laughs> um, there's Gandalf, who is, like, some almost seven-foot-tall wizard. <laughs> okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's really tall compared to everyone else. But he's just, he, he possesses, like, this magic power that no one else has. He's an absolute genius, and he's just really old and wise, and I love him. And then <laughs> the third one is in the movie for, like, a solid five, ten minutes. <laughs> and that's it. Um, it's this little old man. He, like, speak, he, he speaks like the animals and the creatures in the forest. Oh, like Snow White. Okay. <laughs> kind of, yeah. And he realizes that there's, like, a darkness like over the like the woods and the mountains and there's like an evil type of thing so he goes to warn Gandalf and uh Bilbo Baggins and everyone and he's just adorable because he talks to the animals so he's super small and he gets on this giant sled with a bunch of rabbits pulling it and I just think he's adorable <laughs> it's like Santa because but like Easter. Yes. <laughs> and he, he makes the funniest facial expressions and he's just adorable. Mm -hmm. He really is. That's the only word I can use to describe him. I have to like watch this movie later. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, would you, oh wait, no, no, no. Yeah, would you be in this movie if you could? God, no. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Okay, no, never mind. Too much for me. <laughs> you can nominate three people in case, like, the first person says no and the second person says no. So, like, backup, you know what I mean? So, who's the first, backup. second, and third? Does that make sense? Yes. Isa Amigon. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Ellie Kang. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. On your saw. And then Ellie King. Okay, we're switching the order. Okay, okay, I got you. Okay. Yeah. Um, because Ellie's more of a reserved type person. So. <laughs> she's a what? She's more reserved. Oh, introvert. Okay. 
All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and